I would like to give a special now attic shout out to Brie Creations, Barry Q Nails, Exotica's Empire, and 34 Nails for being the first four to comment on my last video. If you would like to be featured in my shout outs, just make it to the videos and be the first four to comment. But thank you ladies so, so much. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So I'm using my XXL Square Nails from Enel Couture. I told y'all I was like really looking forward to using these. So I'm using them today and I am going to be doing the Lazy Girl Method. I'm also using 923 a royal blue poly gel from mccart and i'll be using this foil in today's set um so i've been looking forward to using that foil for a while and i love that poly gel and the nails so i'm also going to be using these rhinestones that i got off shein um because i just wanted some royal blue to kind of go with um a little rhinestone pack i got from Eno couture and they go absolutely perfect so to start uh, with the lazy girl method, I'm basically just squeezing the poly gel into the nail well. So these nails are not really long. Um, so when my nail tips are not real long, I do the one bead method with my lazy girl nails. Anytime it's like an XXL, I do do like two beads because it just works better for me. But I basically squeeze the amount I feel I need into the nail tip. And then I'm taking my poly gel brush and some slip solution um, from Moron or excuse me Moravon and just patting the poly gel into place all over this nail um, so I do make sure that I'm touching all of the sidewalls and such um, for these I did end up wearing them for a week so I did full prep off camera I pushed back my cuticles ran around the cuticle with my e-file and removed any dead skin roughed up my natural nail Applied McCart's Dehydrator and Young Nails Protein Balm um, onto my nail. I then applied a base gel and gave that a 60 second cure. Um, and then I am now creating my first Lazy Girl Nail. So proper pet prep is key if you want them to last. Um, so now when I do apply this nail, it should just be smooth selling and it actually was. Um, they lasted, of course, for my week. Um, I typically be wanting to try to wear them longer, but because I make videos, I always end up doing them that weekend and then taking them off that week, like Friday, uh, so that I'm able just to kind of have videos on the back burner. So today's video, I am going to be reviewing a little later on an Air C nail dust collector. Um, you know, just unboxing it and, and reviewing it with you guys. So I'm doing a voiceover at this point, but when I get to that point, I'm going to just talk straight through um, because it was a lot easier. Uh, but I am now, after I get the poly gel one I want, I'm placing it lightly on my already prepped nail. And I do make sure that there's no spillage and I give that a 60 second cure. Um, so I'm just repeating the same step over all of my nails, basically just squeezing the poly gel into the nail well. And then I'm going to take my poly gel brush, which is dipped in some slip solution for Moravon. And I am going to pat that all into the nail well, making sure all of my sides are covered, making sure by the cuticle it's nice and thin. Um, you want to try to keep it thin so that when you are applying it to your natural nail, there's not much spillage, if any. Um, for some reason with this application, um, typically when I place my lazy girl nails on, they, they just go on really nicely. Um, the base gel does help for the poly gel grip, so it grips pretty well. And I, again, I just push it down enough and then just clean up and cure. <laughs> but this one was giving me a bit of a problem this time. I mean, it, it wasn't real dramatically like a problem, but it, it was giving me some problems. Like I had to cut out uh, some of the application with me putting it on because I was like definitely like cleaning up like kept pushing it down cleaning up because it would like just keep raising up off the nail and you'll experience that from time to time with the lazy girl method 
but I still feel like this is like one of the best methods. It's so beginner friendly, easy, and you always get really nice snatched nails. So I have a series where I'm trying to like recreate old nail sets that I've done in the past. And I don't know, like this royal blue, for me unboxing my Born Pretty like last week, and I had that really pretty royal blue jelly, it just like makes me want to do blue nails. Um, so I did want to recreate a set that I did um, like at least two years ago on my channel um, where I actually um, used this particular shade here, but I also wanted lazy girl nails. I don't know why. For me, honestly, as a content creator, I like lazy girl nails for the week when I want to wear nails because it's, they are easier for me to take off Friday. Um, it's not a, a lot of filing to do or soaking off or anything like that. It's always very easy as opposed to me doing an overlay. It takes a little more to get them off. Um, and so I try to stick to Lazy Girl, but I think I'm gonna just like jump in and do a few more overlays because I love overlays. But again, I feel like with an overlay, overlay I would need to wear those like two weeks. I don't need to do an overlay and take it off the same week unless it's like a pill off and i haven't found a a good pill off to where it actually stays on at least a week and you peel it off i see people all the time talking about that but like any pill off i use it is not that strong like i've worn my nails with pill offs for like a day i would say but after that day it's gonna be something i do whether it's just simply opening something to where that peel off is just going to make the nail lift right off. I don't have to do much, you know, so it's, it's a peel off for a reason, but I've seen one that Rose uses. I think I need to like look into that one because she does say she, she wears her nails for like a week. But then again, I guess with that, it would work better for shorter nails versus longer nails. Um, because longer nails, you are more likely to kind of just bump them not much, like I don't bump them much, but I do bump them. I also want to say thank you guys so much to getting me to 1K subscribers. Guys, it's been a long time coming, and I can say I am so thankful and freaking grateful. Like, I'm trying to spice up my videos, figure out what else I can do to kind of attract others and keep y'all entertained, keep y'all wanting to see more because... I mean, I, I know I'm doing a good job, um, but geez, like it's been a long time coming and I'm so thankful. So now y'all we need to work on my watch hours and get those watch hours up so I can start getting monetized and I can be on my way to being a full-time YouTuber so we can have a lot of fun on a daily basis, at least every other day. You know what I'm saying? We can have a lot more fun on the channel once I actually get monetized and I know that I have a pretty good going with YouTube. April Shorty, I want to shout you out specifically because I love you so much, truly and honestly, because you are like the number one supporter. You always look out and like reach out to me on other platforms and talk to me all the time, not just on YouTube. Um, I do appreciate all of the love and support that you've shown me over the years because since you've been here, I can honestly say you are at each and every video you never miss. And I'm just really grateful for those of you that do always show up. But I want to shout her out specifically in this video just because she is always there. Like, she's like a mother figure to me. Like, she's always looking out and always has very nice and positive and uplifting things to say. And if I disappear for a moment, you best believe she's coming to find me. So thank you, April. Thank you, everyone. I love you guys so much. And we're going to get into the review. So this is the Airsea Nail Dust Collector that they did send me over, the GD3 G Series. Um, and we're going to go ahead and unbox it. So um, I was really interested when they reached out and asked me because I do need another dust collector. Um, it's only one thing I can say I don't like about it, but we'll get into that. So here is the instruction pamphlet. As always, with any product that you are buying, it should definitely have instructions to kind of, you know, let you know how it works. Um, just, you know, a lot of good information about any product you buy. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. It is a bit bulky, but it's like a normal bulky, like how dust collectors were when we first all, you know, kind of discovered a dust collector. Because honestly, in no nail salon that I've been to, do I ever see them using dust collectors. Um, so when I started working with nails, I was like, oh, this is so cool and effective to like catch dust so you don't have like the nail dust flying everywhere you need them. And Enel Couture was the first one I got. Um, but here's how it looks out of the packaging. Very, very nice. Um, and it does, of course, come with an adapter that you would plug in um, to the back of the dust collector and then also into a you know, into an uh, actual plug itself to get it to operate. That is going to be the only thing I say that I don't like about this, to be honest, is that it has a cord. I am looking for a very nice cordless, oops, excuse me, dust collector. But here's the function. So that's the power button and it has three levels here that I am pointing at. And this is where you would plug in the adapter to the back. For the actual like tray, you would just pull it out, clean that, and then push it back in. Really cool, really like basic, like a, a nice basic uh, nail dust collector. Um, and I did plug that in. So we're gonna go ahead and like, I'm gonna just test out the volume to see how loud or whatever it is. And then, of course, I'm going to file my nails just to kind of see how well it does catch the dust as well. Um, and so, like, I'm just trying to get myself set up here to get that going. But um, that would be the only thing. I mean, it is a little loud, too. You'll hear me say that. But the only thing I really don't like about it is that it does have that adapter cord because everything I use is cordless. So I, I kind of want to stick to that cordless theme. But other than that, it's really, really, you know, it's okay. And I'll link it down below as well as everything you need to know about it. So if you're interested, you can definitely look into it and grab you one of these dust collectors. Because you can never go wrong with a dust collector. You do want something to minimize the dust when you're doing your nails. Um, because I, that, I'm sure that's very harmful to like inhale that all day or whenever you're doing your nails so a dust collector is always key in my opinion that's the first um volume on it this is the second it's okay and this is the third So I will say for me, honestly speaking, I do feel like it's a little loud um, because I have two other dust collectors. I do have the one from Enel Couture, which I need to bring back out and test because I haven't used it in forever, like since I bought it. And then I have the Melody Susie 2-in-1 with the drill. So the one with Melody Susie the 2-in-1 is a lot quieter and I'm not trying to compare. I'm just like if you have dust collectors or any of the ones I'm speaking on then you know what I mean. But for me, it's a little loud. I'm, I'm just going to give my very honest opinion on that. Like I don't see me wanting to use this all the time. I'm very grateful to have it so that if I need a backup, it is here. But I honestly just think it's a little bit loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to file my nails so we can see how um, powerful it is. Like if it actually sucks in the uh, dust. So let's see, turn it back on. And I'm gonna put it on level two. And I'm just gonna go around my cuticle. Just to see how the pickup it is on it. So with me doing the laser draw method, I normally only go around my cuticle with the e because I mean, I really don't need to do much else. Um, so I'm just gonna test that out and see. Coming up my e a little bit more. Um, so yeah. I mean, this volume right here, guys, on number two, it puts me in the mind of my Melody Susie. 
it's pretty quiet, um, I can honestly say, and I use my Lily CZ a lot, like, especially, like, when it's really quiet, um, in the house, and it just really doesn't give me problems, like, no one, you know, and then I do ask about the sound, and no one really has a problem with the Melody Susie one, so I can say this volume um, is pretty okay. It's not real loud. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Um, but yeah. Maybe I'll bring out all of my best collectors so you can kind of test them. But I kind of do want a cordless. I don't have a cordless. Uh, dust collector and because of that a lot of times like the most time I'll use a dust collector really is when I'm doing like um like overlays because I know with the overlay sometimes you have to follow it a lot so it might have a tad bit more dust than like me doing this um, so I do like to use it with my overlays, but even then, just because of the core, I don't pull them out. So I'm just looking, because I want to try to see what's going on with it. And I don't see any dust, like, around. It's basically on my fingers, to be honest. Um, but if it is dropping, it is sucking in there, so... Very good sign. Very, very good sign. And I scuffed myself there, but just trying to give it a real go here. <laughs> I love these nail tips. They are like to die for. Like, I, mean, I don't even like square nails, but these are okay. Now, with the Lazy Girl Method, I do notice that the nails are wider because I have to use a size that's typically not mine if I'm just doing like a gel X, but I still like them. So, mm. yeah, it pretty much picks up everything. I don't really see dust down here. Um, and then again, it wasn't a lot of dust, but yeah. So, this is the RC Dust Collector, and I will have this link down below if you are interested. And give me a moment to do my other hand. Here are my nails after being filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm going to go in with the foil portion of my design. I am taking my McCart nail foil glue. And on my index, I am going to paint this nail with the foil glue in entirety. I did also place some of my McCart nail foil glue on my nail palette. Because y'all know, when it comes to foils, I like to do things a little different. I don't always like them to be just a full nail with a foil on it because it's really typical. That's how you use foils, but I like to shake it up a little bit. So I'm going in on my middle finger with my nail art brush and I'm going right down the center to create like a cutoff portion. And I'm gonna paint the whole left side of this nail with the, the nail art glue. Um, and then on my ring finger, I'm going to do the same thing, make a line right down the center, but I'm going to paint the right side of that nail with the nail foil glue. With nail foil glue, you want to make sure you're doing thin layers, so you don't want to make it thick and bulky because that may cause problems when you go to try to apply the actual foil. On this finger in particular, I did kind of like do it a little thick and you'll see after I cure, it had a lot of bubbles. So I was really scared because I've done that in the past and of course it's just so much buildup that the foil was not able to transfer. But I got lucky this time because it definitely transferred very nicely. On my pinky and thumb, I'm also going to paint that the full nail with the um, foil glue as well.
so for my index i decided i wanted to just kind of dot the foil on the nail so i'm just like going in and just putting it random places on the nails and i really liked how that came out it came out really cute and then for my middle finger i am going in see how it bubbled i was so scared y'all but it came out good but i'm going in and i am putting the foil on the side that has the nail foil glue I'm gonna just rub that in until I do feel like it's ready to transfer and then lift that up. So typically I do cure my full glue for 60 seconds and then once I come out of the lamp, I wait an additional uh, 30 seconds before actually applying the foil to my finger and I always get a really great transfer. Most of the times I like to use my silicone tool, but from time to time, as you see here today, I will use my finger and just rub, rub, rub until I do get that transferred in. And this came out really nice. So with this uh, particular foil, I was focusing more on the end pieces that had like little purple in it because I didn't want to include that in the set. So I, I for these two nails, made sure to start with that end that has the purple and just kind of work it in and... Uh, press it into the nail for my pinky and thumb I did a full nail of the foil so I fully covered the nail with the foil and they came out amazing I hope everyone had or is having a terrific Tuesday thank you so much to anyone that is taking the time to watch my video or that always watches my videos I appreciate you guys so much if you are new to my channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family. I thank you so much for deciding to join me on my journey. And if you've been subscribed, I love you guys so much. So I also just want to throw in, I am going to add this AirC Dust Collector to my giveaway that I will be having soon. I don't have a direct time set of when I'm going to do it, but I did reach my 1K. So I'm trying to make sure I have everything together, things that I feel like you guys will all like. Of course, I'll do like a, like a, a like, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I, I haven't done a giveaway in so long, I forget. But let me jump into the set real quick. So I'm using the blue rhinestones from Shein, as I showed in the beginning of the video. And then some of these clear AB, not AB, sorry, clear rhinestones to just do a little rhinestone design on my middle and my ring finger. So the thought in this was I wanted it to be like an animal print spring design is basically what my thoughts were when I went in with this particular set. So we have the animal print, of course, with the foil and then we, we're in spring. So we're making spring sets and stuff. So I, this was like really random with the rhinestone placement. But again, I just wanted it to kind of give that spring vibe as well. So I'm going in with my uh, Eno Couture Squeeze Gummy Jelly to apply my rhinestones. And I knew going right up the middle, I wanted to do like the rhinestones to kind of separate where the blue starts and then where the foil starts. And then I just like put a bunch on there because I really didn't know <laughs> what I was going to do. Um, I wanted to use some of these bigger stones, the blue stones. Um, and I thought to myself as I placed these two down, how about I make a flower? So that's basically what I'm doing here. There's like two leaves and then the little center piece. And then going right up the middle, I'm going to alternate and do clear blue, clear blue to kind of just separate the two. And then I'll add two more crystal clears on top of either side of the flowers so like at the bottom and the top. You'll see. Um, but again, real random. I did not know what I was wanting to going to do um, and I was a little nervous at how it was gonna look it looked okay it looked a lot better in person um, but I felt like the blue was a bit too much like using the blue rhinestones I probably should have just used some regular crystal rhinestones and did the entire design with that um, but it was fun it was fun um, I still got like a lot of compliments and y'all if y'all notice I did both of my hands the same this week because I have so many videos on the back burner ready to go um, that I can wear nails, like the same nails on each hand. So I went ahead and did that this week. And then the blue got to be too much for me because it was just so much blue <laughs> that I ended up taking them off a little early. So I might have worn them like three days, but 
it was fun. It was cute. And I got that blue fix out of me. So that was amazing as well. But once I got the rhinestone set on this finger here, I did a 60 second cure of my lamp. And then on the ring finger, it was much easy because I already had like the design mapped out. So it was basically the same thing on this nail, just obviously in the opposite direction. And it just went easy breezy because I already had everything mapped out. Um, but back to the giveaway. Um, I'll have a video coming soon where I kind of like show everything that I'm going to give away. I think I want to like get a few more items. So it's not going to be like next week or anything. It may, but it may not. Um, but it's definitely coming. I'm just getting everything together so that I make sure it's a really nice giveaway. Um, and as I mentioned, the Air C nail dust collector that I showed in this video today, I'm going to go ahead and include that in my giveaway. And I may do their handheld um, e-file that I got a while back too. Still debating on that because I do have a Melody Susie one that I've never used that I may include as well. Um, so I feel like it's going to be a very nice giveaway. We're going to have some great products in it. Um, and I really hope Someone very deserving wins this. Um, going forward, now that I've made a thousand subscribers, I'll come back with more details, but I kind of want to do more giveaways, like monthly and things like that, just to kind of give back to those that actually care and support me. Um, and I know people don't typically do this, but if you win my giveaways and you're someone I know, because we can check analytics, y'all. Y'all don't know that, but it's a way to go into your history and see who's watching, how long they've watched, all of that. Um, so I feel like if you're someone that's not consistent and not watching, I'm not going to give away because I want people who actually support me. Like, that's what it's about, like giving back to those that support me. So back into the set, I am now just top coating over everything and then I'm going to give this a 60 second cure. Off camera, I do apply some cuticle oil and I will be back with the final look. Um, I do want to say um, with top coating, I always top coat over my rhinestones. So I know there's different ways to kind of like um, seal them in and stuff. I've seen the techniques, but this works for me. The rhinestones always look very great. The nails don't look wonky. There's nothing wrong with them. And when I tell y'all, it's so hard to get these rhinestones off when it's time to get the nails off. It's always extremely hard to get them off, but I still love it because again, they're very sealed. And I know throughout the week, no matter what I'm doing, the nails, excuse me, the rhinestones are going to stay on. Now, when I am top coating over the rhinestones like this, I try to be very careful Make sure that the top coat is not bulky and it doesn't look wonky or anything like that because um, if you put too much top coat, it does look really crazy once it actually cures. But I try to make sure everything is nice and leveled and like precise around the rhinestones before actually curing and it just works amazing. But I'll be back in just a moment with the final look. And here is the finished set. Again, y'all, the blue was just a bit much after the like a few days. But I really like them. They're different and they're cute. And again, for me, they gave like a animal print spring vibe with the flower in the middle. 
But comment down below and let me know what you think of the set. And if you've made it this far into the video, I would definitely love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe. And hit your post notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you in my next one. Remember to be the very best you that you can be and much love to you all.